Permaculture, we need to have diversified things like one function, multiple benefits we need to do. Like this is the lemongrass which we are talking about. Lemongrass is the pest repellent and mosquito repellent and we can have a nice tea out of it. I'll make tea and give it to you. Padma Kopula is a content woman today. 20 years back, when she and her husband, Narsanna, brought this land in the arid state of Telangana, it was dry and barren. Mealybug is starting. White, the eggs. Yeah, mealybug. Where the seeds are, their parts are. Yeah, yeah. Only mealybug started here. Strong advocates of growing one's own food, the couple built their farm plant by plant. Today, Aranya is an 11.5 acre food forest grown completely free of fertilizers and pesticides and driven by the philosophy of permaculture. It's a design philosophy, like natural orientations we follow and then risk assessment from the winds, where it is coming from, how we can arrest them, where the fire is coming from, how we can arrest them. We work with the nature rather than agonist. So that uh, you have to take into account of all life system which has an existence on planet Earth. So you have to take care of them and you have to survive very amicably harmonious way of life. This means every plant and organism that is part of the Aranya ecosystem is valuable and plays an integral role in its model of sustainable farming. If you have a diversified cropping systems in your uh, whatever the vegetables or fruits or anything and if you can manage the soil health I don't think so pest is a problem. So here we have not used any kind of pesticide or natural pesticide anything. So like this marigold is there. There are so many flowers which can they can take care of the pest. Looking at its success, neighboring communities were open to understanding why and how permaculture works. Farming had taken a different turn in the region in the last 10 years. Farms had transformed from growing subsistence food crops to industrial level monocrops, like maize for example. Maize is such a thing, they cannot consume, it's a hybrid seed and it can be fed to the chickens. Okay, so I'm growing food for the chickens by losing my food security. So what kind of cropping system which the farmers are adopting? What this meant was that tribal farmers were facing a bleak future. One with a lack of nutrition and food security. <laughs> But Padma and Narsanna intervened to help with their model of sustainable farming by tackling the problem at its source and bringing in women as partners. All the women are such a strength, you cannot see. Once you, ch you start convincing that, entire family get influenced. So the woman is the key in agriculture also. Women are more strong at this kind of seed saving. They are so connected to the seed because there is a reproduction system they have. I think they, if you give one seed, I think they multiply the seeds. I think that's how they get more into involved in the seed saving. I think slowly they got into involved in the seed saving. They started distributing, getting them back, and they are made it a livelihood out of the seed. is an ethical investment, ethical business. One of the first women they worked with was Samamma, then a landless labourer who wasn't able to feed her children even a day's meal. 
నిజంగా పేదరికం ఓడగొట్టిన వీళ్ళు నాకు తలదండి అనుకుంటా ఇంకా వాళ్ళ శుద్ధి తీస్తే నాకు బాధ అనిపిస్తుంది ఏడిపోస్తుంది నేను వాళ్ళ రుణం తీర్చుకొని లేని అనిపిస్తుంది నాకు పెద్ద బలగంలో పెంచినారు అనిపిస్తుంది ఒకటి నాకు నేను ఎంత లేని దాన్ని ఉంటున్నా నాకు అంత కలిగిచ్చినారు వీళ్ళు అని అనిపిస్తుంది వాళ్ళు నాకు పెద్ద టీచర్లు కాబట్టి నేను నేను చచ్చిన దాకా కూడా వాళ్ళ పొలంలోనే వాళ్ళతోటే ఉండాలి నేర్పియాలి మందికి ఇంకొచ్చిన వాళ్ళకి చెప్పాలి ఇక్కడ ఒక పక్కన నా కుటుంబం కూడా నా వాళ్ళ లేక నేను నేర్పించుకోనాలి ఇక్కడ వీళ్ళకి నేర్పాలి అక్కడ మందికి కూడా చెప్పాలి అనే ఉద్దేశంతో నాకు చాలా సంతోషం అనిపించా నేను ఇప్పుడు Working with Aranya and the other women in the area, Samamma today has a large plot of land where she grows every kind of crop her children need for a balanced meal, using a mixture of traditional farming systems and permaculture design. For Samamma and many women like her, this has meant self-reliance and lesser dependency on government rations. if you can understand the philosophy behind it if you are connected to the nature it's very easy when you know about the production system how you can produce then we don't need to bother about we don't need to feel stress about that is the security that is the confidence level is entirely different